Quava Quava, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Bova. So, traveling to from Canada to um, Paris to Accra was honestly like the most stressful thing that I've ever done. But this video is basically aimed to uh, break it down on how to um, get through the immigration process smoothly once you arrive in Accra. So the first thing that you're going to need is basically a passport. Make sure that the passport is basically valid. You're going to need the visa. The visa, normally they put it in your passport. So the immigration officer is going to ask for that. But once you get off the plane, the first thing that they're going to ask is where is your boarding pass? Um, just to verify that you are basically at the right destination. So they're going to verify that. They're going to tell you go straight. Um, it depends on the entrance to be quite honest but typically they tell you to go straight to the next person and the next person is basically going to check your um, vaccination whether you're vaccinated or you're not vaccinated in my case I was vaccinated so once they briefly check for two seconds they just told me just go so I went and then the next thing was a next lady or a next staff they're gonna ask for your yellow fever so i had the certificate which was this one honestly she did not even open it as soon as she seen this she was like go because if she opened it she would have realized that like it's probably expired but um the world health organization basically um declared that as long as you've had your yellow fever in the past you're good to go so she didn't bother so she just looked at it, the front cover, and then she's like, okay, go to the immigration officer. So I went to the immigration officer, and what the immigration officer did was he checked for my passport, he opened it, he made sure that my picture on the passport matches my face, and then he went through the pages to find the visa. So once he did that, he didn't ask any questions. He also asked for, um, a card so once you arrive in a car they're gonna the airline that you're gonna be with they're gonna give you um, a paper and it tells you oh to write your name your address who you're going to see um, what is your intention in coming to Ghana just a brief um, cardboard paper that you have to fill out so make sure to bring a pen with you in your handbag and then uh, he asked for that he looked at it no conversation whatsoever he just glanced through it he made a couple stamps and that was it i'm pretty sure he was just putting the time that i arrive and the time that i'm going to be leaving because my visa is basically three months so after that that was it i went to go get my luggage got my luggage and um that was it and make sure not to bring a lot of stuff because if you bring a lot of stuff they can suspect that you're either a student or you're either um, coming from a different foreign country trying to sell things so try not to like overpack try not to carry a lot of things because they might think that you are going to sell some stuff so thank god um i didn't overpack so they didn't suspect anything they just asked me are you an international student i said no i'm just here to visit and they let me go they checked the luggage um slip to see if um i don't even know why they checked it but she just be briefly checked and then she asked me oh um where are you coming from and then i'm like oh canada so i guess that's what she used to verify whether if it's my luggage or not i don't know how <laughs> that makes sense but to her it made sense to me it was easy that was it it was so smooth i got out of the airport really quickly I thank God that they weren't like really like strict they were really lenient which is like a blessing but that's the end oh another thing that I wanted to add is again depending on your airline I flew with Air France so as soon as I got to the airport they asked um, in Canada Toronto they basically asked for my passport they asked for the visa they asked for my uh, vaccine as well they asked for a travel health um, 
certificate so that you have to basically do it ahead of time before you come to the airport like on the Ghanaian website it's not really clear it just tells you oh um fill it out and then that's it so thank god i don't know my ancestors basically said girl download it send it to your email just to be safe because you know these Ghanaian people you never know all right they say one thing and then they mean the other so I did that got to the airport she asked for that i'm like oh my goodness if i hadn't sent it to myself this lady would not let me board the plane so i did that thanks to god and then that was it but when i arrived to ghana they never really like questioned me about the health certificate i'm assuming they had it but i never saw the immigration officer use the computer so yeah anyways that's the end of the video thanks for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and bye